What's up, what's up guys? Uh, I'm here today, it's my lunch break today. So I thought that I will share with you guys what I eat for my lunch. Three years ago, I got some blood tests done and you know, and the doctor called me right away and he said I have to uh, come back and see him. So anyway, um, the first thing that he said I have to eat, starting to eat healthy because of my high blood and my sugar was high. So I'm in the border to become a diabetic. So he told me to start eating healthy. So anyway, I would like to share with you guys what I eat for my lunch. This is, I eat this for two years straight, my lunch break. This is what I eat. So what I have here, I have uh, two chicken breasts. And um, what I usually do with my chicken breast is I just um, boil it first. Because you want to make sure that you cook it properly because it's chicken. And I add it on the garlic and pepper. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, seasoning you're going to add into it. But just make sure that you don't add too much of the salt because the salt, it's not good for you. That's what my doctor said. So I reduce all the salt. I'm just going to add well, just a little bit of water to it. So I'm just going to boil it. Maybe um, I would say 10 minutes to boil it. Just going to add a little bit of water to it. Yeah, he said to me that you have to take care of yourself, start eating healthy. You wouldn't believe what I eat in the morning. Every morning I eat yogurt, zero calories. That's what I eat in the morning, every morning. But at night time, dinner time, I usually eat uh, a good meal. But morning and uh, lunch break, and this is what I eat. And I'm going to show you guys the rest of my uh, what I eat for my lunch. I right guess as you can see, the rest of my lunch here, I have uh, uh, grapes, tomatoes. I'll usually just grab like eight of them for my lunch. And I have carrots. And yeah, this is my uh, lunch. One carrot, and believe me, this thing is working for me. Like I got a blood test again, and uh, <clears throat> the doctor said everything is fine. So why stop eating it? That everything is working. And this one here is the cucumbers. It's a very healthy and uh, I use the Ron's uh, dressing. That's what I use for dipping. So our um, chicken is still boiling. I'm just half cooking it. Because I'm going to do something with it after all. <clears throat> I have a, a frying pan here. So it's half cooked now. So what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to fry it. <clears throat> you see still, but again, it's half week cook already. Just spray with the uh, Oh, just a little bit so it doesn't stick in our uh, frying pan. Uh, still not hot yet. So 
So what I'm going to do next is just sprinkle it again with a little bit of um, seasoning to it. Just a tiny bit. just like that it's just really small seasoning salt in there so if you can avoid salt because we all know salt is not good for you so anything what I cook anything what I bake I uh, cut the salt to it I cut the sugar to it But it still tastes good. Again, just put a little bit of seasoning to it just to give it a taste. And make sure you don't under uh, cook your um, chicken breast. Chicken is always you need to uh, make sure that you cook it properly. getting ready just about done and also you just have to keep yourself busy uh, like myself I go for a walk like at least an hour and a half to sometimes I go for a walk for two and a half hours to three hours that's not playing golf just going for a walk Playing golf, I walk for five hours. To stay healthy, you have to keep busy yourself. Otherwise, it's not good. As you can see, the color of the chicken starting there, starting to look good. I don't have to check the temperature. Just about ready. If you guys can buy seasoning salt, you can do whatever you want with the seasoning salt. It's everything. It will taste better. Just don't put too much seasoning salt because it's not good for you. Right now I'm just, uh, it is cooked, I just want to make sure it's, it looks nice when it's colorful. And if you're not sure about your chicken breast, when you're cooking it, you can tell in the middle of it, if, um, because the color of the meat in the middle of your chicken breast is totally different than the top. So just to make sure that it's cooked, when it's the same color, the top and the middle of it, that means it's done. Which is, this one is done now.
and that's what it looks like my lunch every day that's what i eat carrots cucumbers tomatoes chicken breast and in the morning yogurt zero calories that's what i eat in the morning and I have to use the runs for dipping, just a little bit of runs. <clears throat> and here we go guys. <clears throat> 